Hi, Chris Matthew here from Compute Inc. Our mission is to become the world's largest computing company with no infrastructure. We're building a decentralized distributed mesh computer that allows everything in the world to connect, communicate, and compute together seamlessly. Now this isn't your typical blockchain computer uh, that, that a lot of other projects are trying to build. This is truly a mesh computer where disparate machines, whether they be workstations, laptops, VMs, even mobile devices and IoT devices, organically mesh network together, um, swarm, discover together, private mesh networks, public mesh networks, however it's designed to be set up, where they can connect and communicate with one another in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion and compute together in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion to solve problems as if they were a single worldwide mesh computer. Well, how do we do that? Um, we've built this platform that can take uh, disparate uh, machines and, and, and utilize all of the cores within each machine to, uh, to form a single machine. So for instance, uh, this here is a, uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, mini supercomputer I, I built a while back. Um, but the idea is, is that it's, it's four Raspberry Pi uh, threes that are uh, connected via uh, an ethernet bridge uh, and no internet. So this right here is a private mesh network um, where each one of these four uh, Raspberry Pis are interconnected and, and uh, intercommunicating with one another. Since each one of these Pis uh, have four cores each, this is essentially a 16 core single computer uh, powered by computes. So what happens is when uh, computes comes online, they look for the private mesh network where their keys match. And in this case, uh, even though it's an isolated, no internet uh, connectivity, they're still on a private mesh network if we were to plug this in. Anyhow, the, the computes detects that there's four cores in each one of these Raspberry Pis. So there's a thread that fires up on each core and, and ties each physical core of every computer on the mesh network together where they're all swarming together and they see each other. So they're able to uh, request computations and perform computations collectively as if they were a single computer. So imagine this like in a, uh, a, a driverless vehicle, for instance, all of the computers on board being able to communicate uh, with one another and compute together. Uh, now extend that out a little bit further where you have multiple uh, driverless vehicles, even of different manufacturers uh, rolling together on, on the road. Now they're also able to mesh together and communicate together organically as needed. Um, think about the smart city applications where you've got uh, parking meters, uh, navigation systems all working in concert together, toll roads, roads themselves communicating with the cars, Computes allows all of that disparate uh, computing capability to just intermesh together. Uh, the platform runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux today, um, as well as uh, ARM and, and x86 processors. So we've got a lot of um, uh, hardware covered. Uh, soon we'll have mobile uh, operating systems added to the, the bunch as well. So um, I think the beauty of this is uh, AI computing anywhere, specifically on the edge, where, where you want the AI to be computing where the data source or where the sensors uh, are generating uh, the data, rather than streaming everything up to the cloud. Um, so that's what we're, we're, we're empowering or, or making, making uh, available. Any machine anywhere in the world can connect, communicate, and compute to perform artificial intelligence uh, computations at the source, wherever that may be. We're talking real time, no latency, uh, no typical problems with, with the blockchain in general, like slow uh, throughput. We're, we're doing thousands of transactions per second on our decentralized uh, mesh computer. Um, we don't have the proof of work uh, overhead or burden that typical blockchain uh, computers have. 
and each of these nodes do not need to maintain the entire ledger. Uh, they're able to come and go um, uh, at will and compute together, communicate with one another, and uh, connect on private and public mesh networks. So stay tuned. I'll do a deeper dive later.